Not all the films are being released in theaters, but you can view the best of the best by way of the Chesapeake Film Festival. Joining us with more are Sid Collins Walker, the festival director, and Sandy Cannon Brown, the vice president of Chesapeake Film Festival. Thank you both for joining us this afternoon. And Sandy, I want to start with you. This year, um, things are a little different. The Chesapeake Film Festival is virtual. It is virtual. Uh, of course, we love having a festival where people can come to uh, Talbot County and the Eastern Shore and we can share those treasures and we can have the intimate relationships with the audience and the filmmakers. But uh, this year, COVID makes that a little bit impossible. So we're having 46 films online so everybody can watch from the comfort of their own home. And for filmmakers, this is a real plus because we can have people watching our film all around the world and this is uh, pretty exciting for us yeah yeah and we'll talk a little bit about how you can participate in the film festival but Sid, i want to talk to you about some of the films we have in this you you, you have local uh, films you also have international films <laughs> yes we do lisa we've got uh we as sandy said we've got 46 local and international films this year from chile argentina United Kingdom, the Netherlands, Ireland, France, Italy, and of course, many from the United States. So tell me about one, uh, one of the films you're excited for. Well, we have so many. So it's been very difficult to try to isolate our favorites. And, and they're not our favorites because every single film in the festival is a favorite. But for all of the ta Tom Hanks fans in the audience, we highly recommend the film Ta California Typewriter that features Tom Hanks, John Mayall, Tom Shepard, and many other writers who prefer using a typewriter to computers. Another film um, is which received the Best Documentary Feature Award this year goes to Don't Know Nothing, You Don't Know Nothing About Bruce City. It was all filmed in Cambridge, Maryland. This film is about the mid-70s musical revolution with roots in the New York City hip-hop scene that exploded on Pine Street. And thirdly, our jury's prize this year, which is the top prize in our awards uh, process, goes to an extraordinary documentary called Emmanuel about 21 year old, a 21-year-old that opened fire in Emmanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church in Charleston, South Carolina, killing nine people. While difficult, the film goes right to the heart of so much that troubles us as a nation. Some of our films are tough, but the reality is, is that art reflects culture. Art reflects culture. So we've got some tough times. These films are tough, but I want to communicate to everybody. They're extremely artful. And the ends that filmmakers go to finish their films is extraordinary. So please join us. Now, Sandy, in addition to being the VP of the Chesapeake Film Festival, you're also an environmental filmmaker. We've talked about High Tide in Dorchester County on the show several times. Do you have a submission in this festival? I certainly do. I work with uh, Tom Horton and Dave Harp, two names pretty well known around the, this region. And this time we're going to have our film, An Island Out of Time, about Smith Island. Smith is one of the last habited islands in the Chesapeake Bay. And while it has, it has environmental concerns for sure, but our film kind of focuses on the cultural aspect of an island out of time, that uh, people are leaving the island, populations are dwindling. And we do this through the story of one family, the Marshalls. It's a very intimate, beautiful look at a wonderful place in our bay. Looking forward to that. So how, uh, when can we see these films again for the Chesapeake Film Festival? People can hop online right away to chesapeakefilmfestival.com and, you know, sign up. We recommend mm -hmm. that people sign up because we have quite a following and we anticipate that hundreds, if not thousands of people are going to want to participate in the festival this year. So the sooner you get your name in there, the sooner we can communicate with you more readily about so much of what's going to be happening. The festival itself begins October 1st, Thursday, October 1st at 9 a.m. It goes 24-7 for four solid days through Sunday, October 4th at 12 p.m., uh, I believe. 
we will have a link on our website, DelmarvaLife.com, so you can get more information, see some of the trailers for the films, and make sure that you're registered uh, for the Chesapeake Film Festival. Sid Collins-Walker and Sandy Cannon-Brown, thank you both for joining us this afternoon, and good luck with the festival.